What's up, FOA Squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Saturday to you guys. I just made it to the RV uh, show. I'm sitting on the parking lot because uh, I got here quite early. It's 9.29, and the RV show opens up at 10. I have a great parking spot. It's going to be easy for me to get up out of here when I come out of there. So I'm pretty excited now. I'll see you guys inside. All right, guys, they finally start letting people in. I'm heading inside. There are some RVs and everything on the outside, but I'm going to go indoors first and then work, work my way back out. If I can remember last time I came here, they had three different buildings that you can go and check out the RVs. So let's see. Look at this little prism coachman. This is the Winnebago. Is there anything that has a king bed in the... This is the Winnebago Solus. Let's take a look inside of here. Okay, he has a table and chair. See, I wouldn't need this right here to be there. That would be wasted space for me. This is what I don't like about this Winnebago Solus, is that the bed... It's kind of you gotta you gotta pull the bed down. You can step up, and you have to make a bed. Ooh, I'm falling and tripping all over the place. This thing costs one hundred and thirty-two thousand dollars. Jimmy crack corn. $137,000. Look at that. This one right here is the Jayco. Jayco Swift. All right. Look at this one. I like the color of it. it. Has a microwave or it's convection. That's nice. See, I like this space better because they don't have that table that I would not need. Lots of cabinets and stuff. Really nice. Here you have two beds. This is nice. A television. Then in the back here, Ooh, look at this. This has a shower. Oh, cabinetry in the shower. It's a wet bath. The toilet is on this side. Has a medicine cabinet. This one is pretty nice. I like that it has this little pull out for extra prep space. Cause that's one of my biggest pet peeves about these RVs is that they don't have enough cooking prep space. But look at this. Let's see how much this one costs. This one is 134,000. But I like this one though. This one is nice. Take a look at the front. This is nice. Lots of cabinets. That I don't know how to open. Oh, there we go. Nice cabinet space. Oops, my bad, my bad. That's the Jayco Swift. They have to have more than these two. These are what, Class Bs? Let's look in one of these Class Cs. This is the, the Prism by Coachman. Let's go up in here. Oh my, look at this thing. <laughs> Got a nice little half round table section, dining section. Oh boy, look at this. 
Got an oven, a three burner stove. This is where the bed would be. Oh my goodness, they got a, a full bath in here. Look at this. This is nice. They have a full shower in here. Oh my goodness, let me see if I can get up in this shower. See if I can stand up in this shower. Oh my lord, yes. Look at this. And look at all this space I got. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, sir. <laughs> this is a travel trailer, the Geo Pro from Rockwood. Let's go take a look at this. All right, as you go in, you immediately come to the kitchen. It has a shower straight forward. Big TV. There's something about these travel trailers that the bed, you gotta keep taking the bed and the up and down. I don't like that. It has a shower. A three burner with a convection oven, which is nice. Again, no, no prep space. And cooking is important to me. And this don't have any prep space. All right, here's a Ram. Let's see what it is. It's a Integra. I never heard of this brand before. It's 129,000. You save 43,000 if you buy it here at the RV show. Ethos LI. Let's take a look at this. This thing looks huge to me though. All right, as you walk in, you see the convection oven, fridge, I said refridge, Lord Hammers. Not a lot to this. Pretty similar to the one I just left out with. You have either a single bed, two single beds, or you can turn it into a double bed, I suppose. You can put tables up. It has a bathroom. We'll go look at that from the back. Again, I do like the extra prep pull out. Let's go look from the back. This is the back. Has a toilet, a wet bath. Decent cabinetry though, nice. But really don't see any place in there to put like my canopy or anything like that. All right, let's see what else I can get into. This is the Pleasure Way Reckon 4x4. Let's go take a look at that. I found some of the travel trailers. I think this is for outdoors, like overlanding and that kind of stuff. I don't wanna look at this. All right, here's, here's what I wanna see. This is $25,000 here. And this is, which one is this? Oh, this is the Little Guy Max Trail. All right, let's go take a look at this. Well, I have great height. As you come in, let me step back out. They have, uh, down that set right there. You walk in, they have, this is the bed area. Oop, the bed area there. Hey, they even have a little microwave right there. I feel the air. This is the bed. See, I would want to keep my bed made all the time. Has a little fridge there. Sink. A two burner stove. This is not bad. Another 
another one. This is a Mini Max, which is bigger. This one is $30,000. Let me back up and give you guys a look at this one. Yeah. And that's the difference. See that one right there? The little guy Max. And this is a mini one. So let's go take a look at this one. This one looks like it has a shower in it. All right. Has a microwave. See? Two burner. Ooh, they got the air conditioner on there. Yeah, hello. <laughs> All right. Again. Turn that into a bed section, a huge refrigerator, nice size fridge, and freezer compartment. A shower. I don't know if I can stand up in that shower. Let me see. Okay, yes, I can. Easily, too. Alrighty, that's an advantage of being 5'2. That's nice. <laughs> and the last one is the little guy trailers so you got the little guy trailers right there the, the mini mini little guy and then uh i don't know what that one is i forgot that's gonna run right you're not using your battery plus you charge so you gotta keep this in mind this one is thirty-seven thousand. this is the biggest of the little guys that's a shower. It's pretty big. Looks like this dining section is a lot bigger than the other ones, of course. Nice little sink. See, I like this bed. This looks like a nice proper size bed that it stays here. Nice cabinetry. Nice size fridge. Decent storage. A uh, microwave up top. I wonder how much this weighs. Got a lot of storage underneath there from side to side. That's a hefty price there. <laughs> okay, let's go look at this uh, R part from Forest River. Good seeing you. All right, this one is 24,000. Let's check this one out. Wow, this one is nice. Look, as you go inside, they have a nice size dining spot. Wow, nice sink. Confection oven. Big refrigerator. Look at that. And what's this right here? Ah, oh, this one has a shower. I don't care to have a shower though. I don't really want to deal with that. I love, love that the bed is permanent. That's what I like about these the best. They're permanent. This is a big, big dining big dining section here plenty plenty of space i like this I like this a lot plenty of dining space this is a big a big sink man this is nice Nice size wet bag. What's the contributing factor to this really small? This is a 
Nice big bed. Separate freezer compartment. Heater system. Where would you put your clothes though? <laughs> I love this sink. This sink is really nice. This sink is really nice. Nice, nice two burner. This is a nice size right here. Has a television right here. Nice size. All right, heading towards the A-liner. I don't like this one already. I can tell I don't like it because look where the air conditioner is. The air conditioner is on the outside. This is $21,000, $3,000 less than the iPod. And look at this, the air conditioner. I don't like this. I don't like this at all, at all. I don't even want to go inside it. And then all that work you got to do to get it. Uh, I pass on that. That's too much work. Look at that. Too much work. Here is the Pleasure Way Tofino pop-up. I've always wanted to see one of these in person. This one is 89000 it's the Pleasure Way, Pleasure Way Tofino on a Ram 1500 Pro Master. All right, my biggest question with this one is, would I be able to stand up in it with the pop, -up, pop top down? And I can't. Now their biggest promote, promotion of this is that you got all that cargo space in the back. But it doesn't look like you get anything for $90,000. Look at that, that small refrigerator. And like I said, they promote this as their biggest marketing for this product is all this cargo space and everything it doesn't have a bathroom it doesn't have a dining table that i see you know you have to put your bed up and down i'm glad i had a chance to see the tofino up close and now i know it's definitely not for me <laughs> all right let's check out these Wolf Pup, never heard of them. 18,000. This thing looks huge. Definitely another vehicle would be needed. But let's take a look at it. All right. As we walk in, got the bathroom here. Oh my lord, that looks so tiny. On this side. No, this one's 18 Oh, the toilet is over here. This one's uh, 24,000. That's the show price. I don't like this. It has a solar panel on the roof. Okay, I never heard of this brand before, too. It's the. I don't know what that is. Azalta. Bad boy is uh, 165 grand. Let's take a look at it from the back. Yeah. Not really feeling this setup here. See, this is why I don't like these type of vehicles.
because it doesn't have anything in it. This tiny bathroom that I can't even film. Why would this thing be so much? The wood on it is, I can't even shut the door. This doesn't even have anything in it. It's not, it doesn't even have a confection oven, convection oven in here. Why would, why would someone pay that kind of money for this? That's crazy. All right, let's take a look at this one. This is on a Mercedes chassis. It's called the Galleria. Another big hefty price tag, 162. This thing is huge. There's a fridge. Oh my goodness. This thing is so narrow. Look at this, so narrow. This must be the bathroom. Wow, so narrow. Some little bit of cabinetry, convection oven. This is the back that turns into the bed area. I don't know, it just feels, doesn't feel Got a small seat there, a little swivel seat with two cup holders in it. I guess you press a button and this turns into a bed. Has a convection, induction I meant. Has an induction cooktop, uh, two of them, which is nice. I don't know. This is why I don't really care for this type of setup. This is why I don't care because it doesn't feel like it's enough room at all. I mean, right here in this area, I feel, I feel cramped. I can barely turn in circles here. And for that price, and for that price tag, boy, whew, that's a lot for this. Let's go look at another one. All right, this is another Ram chassis. This is the, let's see what this one is. This one is the Sequence. I never heard of it. It's 115,000. At least the price is coming down. Let's go take a look at this one. All right, it has a, Television, some upper cabinetry, has a two burner stove, a fridge that I don't know how to open. Okay, there we go. Separate freezer compartment. Lots of cabinetry. This one is the quality, the quality of this one is a lot better than the one that I just came from. Have a swivel table here. I have not yet seen any of them that have a, a Murphy bed on them yet. I like the Murphy bed setups. A couple drawers. I don't know of one in a class C, so, or in a class B, so, yeah. a Murphy bed. I've got small class C's that have them. Okay. But I haven't seen one in a class B. All right. Just because if you got a bed folded up. Right. And then you bring it down, it's- It's gonna come from too wide, too, too wide so, out. Yeah. yeah, I know. This is the closest with this, this setup with the couch here. Okay. And that pulls out. Okay, this pulls out. You see these at the bottom here? These lift up, have supports on them, and then that makes a full-size bed. Oh, these right here yeah. lift up? Yeah. Okay. I didn't eat my Wheaties today. Oh, there you go. You're all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you. But I heard what you said, and I just wanted to let you know. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, let's take a look at this one. I, as I was walking by, this is the Sonic Light by Venture RV. It's 
$27,000. Let's take a look at this one. All right, it has a little, a little couch, a TV, nice little placement of the television. I like that. This one feels really spacious. This one feels really nice. Has a two burner stove. Nice deep sink. That air thing. Oh, nice big bathroom. Oh my goodness, a lot of cover space. Let me show you guys this bathroom. Look at this bathroom. Nice shower, separate shower. Medicine cabinet, storage right there for your toiletries and personals. And look at this space right here. Look at all that space, oh my goodness. Got a ha option of hanging. This is a lot of space right there, look at that. A lot of space, that's good. Separate toilet. Oh. See, this is what I'm talking about. Look, here's the bed right here. Let me see. All right, hold up. This is what I'm talking about. Man, oh man. This is what I'm talking about, a Murphy bed. I love this. Love this. This is nice. Love this. Now let me put this back. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty easy once you learn how to do it. But I love that. That's just what I was talking. Oh, look, my face is glowing. Oh. <laughs> That's just what I was talking about with that guy. This one right here. A Murphy band. Love it, love it, love it. This is the Freelander uh, Coachman. It's 89000 Let's take a look at this. Oh my goodness, look at this. This one is nice. Wow, look at this sink right here. Wow, this is nice. Wow, this one is gorgeous. Wowzer. Has uh, a couch here with seat belts on. A nice dining section right here. This is nice. The TV is there, it swivels out. 
all this cabinetry. Woo, it's big up in there too. I'm loving this. This is a large refrigerator and a freezer section. Nice shower. Oh, I gotta show y'all this shower. <laughs> Look at this shower. Oh my heavens. Really nice. Skylight. This is the bed, a separate bed. Here's your toilet on this side and your mirror, small sink. It's huge in there though. Here's the bedroom. Nice. Got a lot of cabinets and stuff. A nice, look like a full size bed. Might be a queen, I don't know. But look at this, wowzer. This is nice. Once again, a regular microwave. I don't know who puts regular microwaves in there. At these price points all of them should be convection nice space up there once again i wouldn't know what to do with that space up there this is on a ford chassis nothing too fancy about the cockpit but this is really nice i love the placement of the kitchen okay look what i'm walking towards the sunray sport Okay, let's stop here first. This is the RV light by TLRV. This little baby is 23,900. Let's take a look. Okay, got a two burner, a tiny sink. This is where the table and dinette set is. It's pretty basic in here. This is the bath. This looks pretty basic. I don't like this one. Look at that. I don't see a microwave. I see an air condition, but no microwave. I don't like this one. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's look at some of these teardrops. Let's start with this one right here. This is a Sunray Sport. Anything could tow that. That's, you could tow that, that with a Vespa. Look at this. You wouldn't go fast, but you could tow it. This all you would get is a little bed. Yeah, I know that. That's going to be a lot. That's going to be a lot. Maybe you need that. Air conditioner. See, I can't see myself here. I already feel claustrophobic just trying to get up in there. I don't like that. Yeah, what I don't want is I don't want a trailer that weighs more than my motorcycle. All right, let's check out this one. This is a retro Riverside RV. It's 27,000, 30,000. Okay, I'm not even going in here because I don't like it. <laughs> Save yourself the trouble. I know, right? <laughs> All right, this is a No Boundaries by Forest River, 23 grand. This is like, see, y'all talking about get one of these. These things look too small for me. Hey, what's happening? How are you? I'm good to see you, man. How are you doing? I don't like these. <laughs> Looking around. We were looking. Good. Oh boy. All right. I am done with the RV show. I'm back in my car. I got the air on because it was a little hot out there. Anywho, uh, my overall thoughts on it. Let me see. I thought it was okay. Just okay. Um, there are so many different brands of RVs from every measure from 
teardrops to class A's to fifth wheels. And I think that they had a small representation of what is out there. Um, I didn't see like a mass amount of, or a number of different brands and stuff. But um, it was still nice to come to and check out what they had available. Um, I did have a couple of favorites that I did like, um, but still have not been convinced that I want to buy anything that I saw there. Well, it's going to be a wrap for today's video, guys. As always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time. All right, guys, here's something really interesting I wanted to share with you guys. I am now standing on the parking lot of the building that I used to work for over 30 years. That's the building right there. This is the first parking lot, and I'll go in the rear parking lot. And I was curious since I was in the neighborhood to see what did they do with this building. And they turned it into, get this. Let me show you guys. Okay, hold up. Let me show you guys. They turned this building into a self-storage plus indoor car and boat parking. So I'm going to drive around the back entrance where all the uh, employees from the uh, press room parked and the bindery. So let's go check that out. Hey guys, this is the original name of the company before it was bought and sold about three times since I was working here. Port City Press. Yep, this way I worked for over 30 years. This is what the back of it looks like now. All of this, all of this what you see here, all of this was our parking and we would go in where that storage store is right there, South Storage Plus. This is quite interesting. They obviously redid the whole outside of it. it looks nice. Yep, guys, this is where I worked for 30 something years. How neat. Can't wait to tell some of my coworkers what they did with this space. I thought that they would tear the building down and make something, but obviously they kept the building as is, did a couple add-ons, and it's good to know what they did with it.